In 2022, NASA published a photo taken by the Mars rover Curiosity on the surface of the red planet that blew up social networks. The image clearly shows what appears to be a door, or rather a portal, leading into the planet's interior. NASA only routinely posts the image on its website with the appropriate accompanying attributions, but without commenting even one line on what is seen in it. Theories and explanations among the public are becoming numerous, from a time portal to a gateway to the habitat of a hidden civilization. Institutions have been silent on the issue for days, and U.S. House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence Chairman Andre Carson said, the American people expect and deserve their leaders in government and intelligence to appreciate the seriousness of the matter and address any potential national security risks, especially those we don't fully understand. Were the photos leaked accidentally or were they released on purpose? What explanation do government institutions ultimately provide? And what is actually happening on Mars? We are going to find out in the next few minutes. About three billion years ago, two planets orbited our Sun, which were very identical, and life on them developed in a similar way. But at some point, these planets took different paths. One favored the development of life on it, and the other began to slowly kill it off. Fortunately for us, we have the good fortune to be on the first one, called Earth. What was on Mars, however, was not our luck. From a paradise habitat with oceans and flowing rivers, Today, the planet has become a red desert. In fact, scientists are of the opinion that it is Mars, not Earth, that may be the first planet in the solar system to support life. Earth's tectonics has erased all traces of the events that occurred during the first 500 million years of our planet's history. Due to the continuous movement and recycling of the plates, they are being returned and destroyed in the bowels of the Earth. Unlike Earth, Mars has no tectonic plates, allowing its surface to preserve evidence of the earliest stages of the planet's history. According to the results of studies done on Mars, there was enough water to cover the entire planet with an ocean at least 980 feet deep to 3,170 feet deep in some areas. By comparison, at that time on Earth, there was many times less water. But life on Mars does not rely on water alone. Asteroids brought organic molecules, such as amino acids, during intense asteroid impacts. These molecules are key components for the formation of DNA, RNA and proteins, suggesting that Mars had ideal conditions for life while Earth was still lifeless. This happened during the first 100 million years of Mars existence. During the same period, the Earth is thought to have suffered a massive collision with a planet called Theia, which led to the formation of the Earth-Moon system while destroying the possibility of life on Earth. It was important to share all of these facts because if you were not familiar with them, you would have easily passed by the claim of a gate leading to the bowels of Mars. After pictures of the Martian gate went around the world, NASA finally released a statement on the matter after long days of silence on the subject. Unquestionably, the outline of the portal, carved into the barren mountainside of Mars, looks immaculate and purposefully made, like the entrance to some long-forgotten tomb in the sands of Egypt. The image was taken by NASA's Mars rover Curiosity using its mast camera or mast cam. The mound of rocks captured is named East Cliffs and the photo was taken on May 7, 2022 during the mission's 3,466th Martian day or SALT. The mound is located on Mount Sharp which may contain evidence of a major change from wetter to drier conditions in the early history of Mars. Gaia Stucky Decay a researcher at Harvard's Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences who studies the surface of Mars explained that the images show how linear cracks began to form at this location, resulting in a large chunk of rock breaking off, possibly due to erosion from wind, dust storms or even quakes. She adds that the fallen piece may be the same large tilted rock seen near the formation. The shadows make the object look like a perfect rectangle on the lower quality images which has led to speculation that it represents a doorway. Stucky Decay wrote in an email, Cracks often form in straight lines, and you can actually clearly see the inside of the rock wall and the back of it, which contains even more cracks. Andrew Good, a spokesman for NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, tells the Associated Press that NASA scientists monitoring the rover have estimated that the opening is about 30 centimeters or 12 inches high, 
and 40 centimeters or 16 inches wide, which is about the size of the doorway for an average sized dog. Various cracks and fractures can be seen in the surrounding area, adds Good. Linear fractures are visible in this outcrop, with several such lines intersecting at this location. This is how NASA explains the alien gate, reducing it to the comparison of a doggy door with nothing even behind it. Period. End of story. So the case for this photo is closed, and this page is closed. But is it? Look at the photo again and think. Is it possible this is a natural formation? Why, since these formations are so common, do we not see them again and again in the thousands of photos from the rover? Another question is, why should the small size of this structure reassure us in any way? Questions aside, this is not the first formation that science cannot explain and classifies as natural. So we are told of the giant stepped pyramid complex at Yonaguni, Japan, the Way of the Giants, Bosnian Pyramid, and many more. But let's return to the alien gate on Mars. Again, scientists claim that if there is any surviving life on Mars, it would only be guess where? Beneath the surface. Interesting, isn't it? In 2018, the European Space Agency ESA made an important discovery just beneath the surface of Mars. Data obtained by the Mars Express probe which orbits the planet showed evidence of the existence of a subterranean lake beneath Mars's south polar ice. For three years, scientists have been analyzing data from radar observations near the planet's south pole. These data show a highly reflective layer about a kilometer and a half beneath the ice that closely resembles Earth's underground lakes located beneath glaciers. The open lake has a diameter of about 20 kilometers, 12 miles. Scientists assume that the water in it is very salty, so we are obliged to note that it is not a freshwater pool. However, the discovery of an underground lake of liquid water on Mars is extremely significant because water is one of the basic elements necessary for life as we know it. Similar saltwater reservoirs on Earth in Antarctica, for example, are home to extremophilic organisms that can survive under extreme conditions. Speaking of life on Mars, something strange happened in 1976. That's when NASA's Viking missions reached the surface of Mars. One of the scientists, Gilbert Levine, claimed that the results of their experiments showed evidence of life on the Red Planet. These studies, called Labeled Release, LR, aimed to test whether there were microorganisms in the Martian soil that could respond to nutrients. The experiment went like this. Scientists added nutrients to the Martian soil, expecting that if there were living organisms, they would absorb them and release gases that a special monitor would detect. The results were interesting. The initial test showed traces of a reaction, but the repeat test showed no such activity. Despite these results, NASA was unable to detect any organic material in the Martian soil and could not repeat the test in the laboratory. Therefore, the organization concluded that the LR detected by the experiment may have simply been the result of an unknown chemical reaction, not evidence of life. However, Gilbert Levine is of the opinion that the results should not be dismissed so easily. He believes it is possible that the probes searching for life on Mars were actually destroying it. In 2008, the Phoenix probe, which found no trace of life on the planet, discovered chemicals in the Martian soil that hide it in quotes, perchlorates. At low temperature, they are relatively harmless, but when heated to 100 degrees Celsius, they give off oxygen, which is why everything flammable around them burns. It is for this reason that perchlorates are used to propel rockets. Both the Phoenix and the Vikings searched for organic molecules, heating the soil samples to a temperature where they could then analyze the composition of the resulting gas. The report's authors, Douglas Ming of NASA's Johnson Center and his colleagues, conducted an experiment. They heated perchlorates and organics to high temperatures, and as a result, no traces of organic matter remained in the samples. But, some scientific papers point out that it was in the first Mars sampling that this baking process was not carried out. According to Levin, there will soon be no definitive proof that there is no or life on Mars because NASA, in its upcoming missions, has not provided a direct search for living organisms. This raises the question of whether the possibility of finding life on Mars has been missed and whether new instruments will be developed in the future to confirm or reject this hypothesis. In light of all this, 
it is worth taking a second to consider a very distant but interesting hypothesis. What if life on planet Earth, in fact, came from Mars? Most of you have heard the hollow Earth stories, which claim that an ancient, highly advanced civilization lived in the interior of our planet. Well, imagine that these are leftover legends from the first civilization to come to Earth from Mars, where conditions began to become harsher as time went on. At first, they found shelter underground, but that was only until they created machines capable of transporting them to a more benign planet. The battle against time and finding resources was fierce. So in the end, a very small minority managed to save themselves from the perishing planet. By transporting themselves to Earth, the aliens brought with them the microorganisms that our planet lacked for life to flourish on it. Of course, for the moment, this is just a fabulous speculation. But the truth is that we know almost nothing about the spark that ignited our emergence. And as long as that's the case, every story, no matter how improbable it sounds, is like a ray of hope toward uncovering the truth. If it wasn't the Martians, then who was the first race on Earth? Who were the ancient ancestors of mankind? The answers to this question are sought in the video you see on the left.